Hello everybody, what's going on? My name is Heen, and today we're going to take a look at the old gotcha car that you guys can't get anymore. We're going to take a look at Winner. Nah, I'm just kidding. We're going to be looking at the Hiken today. The game. And Hiken is a car that you should all be very familiar with, because this car was the last car that was added to the game's campus version of Drift City before it was shut down. And uh, this car was quite a popular one for when it was released. Uh, the Lycan Hypersport, as it's more commonly referred to in the real world, uh, is quite a sporty looking car. Uh, and it was, uh, it was, I don't believe it was debuted in uh, Fast and Furious 7, but that's, this car did play a big role in that movie as it flew uh, from, a, uh, from one building to another with uh, Vin Diesel in it uh, before he went blind, of course. Uh, uh, yeah, you have to you have to watch the other video to understand that joke. Anyway, let's get right into seeing the stats for this car and seeing all the other fun uh, things. All right, here we are. And as you can see, I cheaped out and I bought a Hiken BT because a Hiken ST is actually a pretty expensive uh, gotcha car to get from the auction house, costing uh, well over a million. So let's take a look at the uh, the decals here first and see what we got for the exclusivity of Hiken. So the first decal looks a little bit strange with this little picture here. Okay, and ooh. Okay, um, it may give it a nice little metallic sheen to it, as you can see without it and with it. And I wonder if this meshes with any of the paints here. Oh, that's a little too bright, I'd have to say. If you keep it like that, that looks very cool. And I wonder if you put like a like a blue on it. And then you go here to the decal, and you change the decal to a blue. Does that look nice. A lighter blue, uh, maybe like maybe like uh, like that. Uh, I don't know. You can figure it out. You, you see how it works. It, it, I think the decal actually works pretty well. And the next decal we have here is this one here. And oh, I do know this decal actually. Um, this one is based on an actual design on the uh, Lycan Hypersport. And this is the Dubai police car decal setup for the Lycan Hypersport. And it is here in Drift City on Hiken. So it's very cool. So it says M Motors Patrol. A little bit of a weird font to choose there. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice uh, website there. I don't think that exists, so don't go there. And if it does, uh, God help us all. But yeah, uh, very cool. I do like how it like tints inside of here. Makes it have that like the carbon look. Do one on the rear as well. Yes, it does. Let's do it on the rear. Cool. So let's move right along to the arrow kits for this car. And unfortunately, this car does not have an arrow kit. However, I think the car does look pretty cool. Um, so no need for an arrow kit here, really. But it would have been cool to see something a bit crazier for this car with an arrow kit. And uh, for wheels, well, the car has the wheels right on it, and I can confirm that you can buy them separately. So you can have the bonuses from buying the wheels and still have the very cool-looking hiking wheels that go with it, or you can put them on something else if you want it to be a little bit crazy. And the last thing we're going to take a look at is the stats for hiking. Uh, but the way we're going to have to do that is we're going to have to go into the dealership here, because I do not have a hiking ST, and I don't want to mislead you guys with these stats. So let's take a look. And as you can see from the most recently released uh, gotcha car being uh, Savannah, uh, we are a bit behind on uh, catching up to the most recent gotcha car, but we will get on that. So the first thing we've got to see is Hiken's racing performance. And as you can see, Hiken's racing performance is extremely good. It has 297 speed and 295 acceleration. I mean, this car is definitely a great racing competitor, and, well, certainly from what I recall from the U.S. version of Drift City, um, people did use this car quite a bit. Uh, it was a good replacement for uh, the Kingpin at the time, which I believe was Luna Mini. Um, so yeah, Hiken ST is definitely a great option for all you racers, and it has a, uh, a, you know, a decent 185 boost, which is uh, okay. It's not great, not bad. Boost doesn't matter too much, but hey, it's got it. And as for a hub car, as you can tell, with all that powerful speed and acceleration, you do have to drop something, and that is uh, certainly boost. I'm sorry, not boost. It did drop boost a little bit, but uh, it did drop uh, durability quite a bit more. Only boosting 43 on the ST variant, while the regular one has 59. So even you can see on the on the normal version, even the BT version, that the stats are still quite good. 
Uh, but you're all about the ST because it gives you those uh, side bonuses as well. And let's jump right in on those side bonuses. Uh, I believe I know what these are without using my translator. But I'm just going to jump into my translator just to make sure that I get these right for you guys. And um, if you guys want to download this translator app, I believe it is on iOS and Android. And you can use that yourself. All you have to do is point it at your screen. Uh, it's, it's the Google Translate app. So... No, no sketchy name there or anything. Just go right, go right ahead for it, and you will, uh, you'll be a okay and ready to go. But yeah, I was right about my assumptions here. Uh, the bonuses on Hike and ST, um, I guess on the BT variant as well, they both share the first ability, and that is the case with all Gacha cars. Um, that they'll share the first ability, which is Turbo Start in this case on Hike and ST, which is a pretty good ability to have on a car like this. Uh, even though in the Japanese version of Drift City, there are parts you can get that will give you Turbo Start. And they are not, like, the big parts to go on your car either, unless you're using a set. Uh, but they are the option parts, like the, the side parts that you can put on your car. And uh, those will give you the Turbo Start you're looking for. Uh, but that is nice. You can There's still the, uh, the daily Turbo Start and Drift Booster item in this game. So you can still buy... Uh, drift booster and still have drift booster with the hike and st even though it doesn't have it because its last ability is to increase its top speed by six kilometers per hour and um now i i, I it's, it's it's almost blatantly obvious that that's what it is um because i don't think you're gonna increase your uh, anything else by six kilometers per hour um and increase your hamster by six miles an hour or six kilometers per hour so that is hiking and where am i going to put hiking on the list of gotcha cars I think Hiken ST deserves a solid 8 out of 10. A much higher uh, number than the previous uh, Prometheus. And the reason why is because I believe that it has very cool decal options. Both the, uh, the out-of-game currency option, uh, which will give you the uh, police decals, and the in-game currency option will give you that very cool metallic look. And uh, in addition to this, I would like to point out to everyone and all of you sticker makers out there who kind of were thrown off uh, by Games Campus Drift City and the fact that you had to pay like $10 a month to have uh, stickers on your car. Um, in the Japanese version of Drift City, I believe it costs 40000 Mito a month to have L6 sticker glue. So if you guys like to make decal sets and sticker sets for your cars, uh, come right along back to Drift City Japan because, hey... Uh, <laughs> you could certainly do that here, and I'm definitely going to start doing that very soon. And, well, uh, sorry, with that aside, let's get back to, uh, hiking here. Um, so the racing performance of the car is extremely good, uh, in addition to its abilities, actually going a step further and giving it six, six kilometers per hour and turbo start, and the stats are very good as well. So this is definitely a race car. Definitely not a hover car, though. Uh, hover performance is very bad. Uh, do not hover with this car whatsoever. I mean, if you do, I guess you can catch up to the hubs faster. But, I mean, when you hit them, you're not going to do nearly as much damage as if you had a cup car with, like, uh, 200 and some durability. And for Neo performance, uh, well, this car does not have any bonuses for Neo. Um, it would actually be worse than prometheus at neo because it doesn't give itself that 10 boost uh the 10 uh, sorry 10 durability points um so that would not boost its hp any higher nor does it have any ability to do with neo so uh make sure you comment down below and tell me what you thought of hiking and whether or not you thought my rating was fair did you think hiking deserves the big 10 out of 10 and that's up to you. And do you think Hiken deserves to be a 1 out of 10? Do you think the Hiken's just so bad? Do you only play Hub and not understand the racing concepts in this game whatsoever? Well, you might as well be me. Um, <laughs> well, with that aside, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big fat like and subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this one. We are almost hitting that 100 subscriber goal. Uh, so yeah, until next time, this is Heen, signing out.